So you guys are waiting for a little bit of a treat in this day in a life video because I have to have a chem, uh, an algebra 2 test tomorrow. So I have all this work and guess what? Um, we have this problem here and I have a feeling even though I checked it that I messed something up. Uh, uh, my reasoning is this doesn't make sense if you were to actually subtract 10 from this and then you get x squared minus 2x minus 25 it just it isn't gonna factor um you don't have anything that adds to negative 2 while multiplying into 25 that just doesn't exist but it's not this that, that that's what x minus 5 and, and x plus 3 are going to do when they're put together and you know, with this 10 being there, wait, oh my god, this is hilarious, and you're going to laugh about this video. I didn't check this is actually log base 9, and then when this is a 9, I think that this actually, um, that this actually should make sense. And yes, I am, I do have severe OCD, and that caused me to actually learn, have to learn how to use both hands, um, you know. So we have x squared minus 2x minus 24 equals 0. And then we can just simply do plop in an x minus 6 and x plus 4 equals 0. And then get x is 6. x is uh, negative 4. So, um, when you plug them in, 6 minus 5, 6 plus 3 are both positive. But negative 4 minus 5, negative 4 plus 3 are both negative. So we reject the negative 4. Also, this thing broke. I'm going to have to staple it back later. But we check the answer for, um, what, which is this, number 66. You will see it does check out to be uh, 6. Um, so that one does check. So I hope that you enjoyed the first So we just got out of the lot. We're about to get out of the lot now. Um, we just got out of here. It's 2 o'clock. So as you can see, we've been waiting here for quite a while. Normally, we're actually out of here by 2 o'clock. Um, we just have a long line of buses ahead of us. So let's just see how long could this possibly take. Um, thankfully, I only take the bus home one day a week. I have other activities. Um, I should do more recording for this day in the life video, but it's hard to get clips. But this is one of the clips I can actually get pretty easily. Oh, also, it's sad when we have no snow on the ground. We probably saw half an inch of snow at most um, this winter. The city center saw none, but most of the city saw half an inch of snow. Um, which is quite sad considering how deep into January that we are and how there's no like real snow chances in the forecast. This could be like three winters ago where all the snow chances that we have like disintegrate. But um, but hopefully that isn't the case. We could also see an inverse where some snow comes like through the end of the year. I heard March has that snowy potential for it. Um, um, also, yeah, well. We're leaving, but there's like a, a bad light schedule, so we um, just have a long way to go, long way to go to get out of here. It's um, currently 2.01, so it's been nine minutes since we got on the bus um, for us to get to this point of being about halfway down. I think we're a little bit more than halfway down, but I've walked from there to the light. It's still a long walk, and it's still normally a cycle by foot, though. That's going three miles an hour but i don't know how fast that bus is going it's probably not going that much faster to be honest um it's definitely not going to 50 miles an hour that you experience on the highway um oh all the buses are starting to go we are starting to go we're gonna make it out though probably not because this light cycle is like really short yeah yeah we were the first one to not make it very unfortunate, especially considering the time. Which right now is actually at 2.02, 2.02 p.m. Well, we really need to get the snow cat up um, on Nor'easters. And the only Nor'easter we saw was the remnants of Ian, but early October is just too cold to snow. We need to see more Nor'easters um, begin to take shape. and. When we have an oyster, they always track too close to the coast to bring snow. It's like it's like all fronts, and that's what's terrible about it. All right, we're about to turn. It looks like 
it's 203 so it took 11 minutes just to get out and there's still quite a long ride after this our bus literally just came this is gonna be a nightmare to get out of here but what do we know let's see how long it actually takes just to get out of here i can't be recording continuously but it's 152 right now so i'll be videoing our leave and I'll be showing you the time so you can see how long it took. <laughs> there was an embarrassing clip on camera and I just missed it because my fingers slid off. More algebra two midterm studying. Uh, okay. Um, x equals zero, x equals b, x equals negative c multiplicity two. Now for this. Is it x equals a, x equals negative b, x equals c multiplicity 2? Okay. Oh, it isn't. That's still, still x equals 0. 0 x equals negative b x equals c multiplicity 2 this whole thing is just like confusing but so is algebra 2 especially honors <sighs> midterms they bring the worst out of you all right so i just finished the algebra 2 midterm and the problem is is that i have like an hour and a half of free time I'm also hungry. So I actually left the school about five minutes ago and I'm currently walking. Now I need to find a place to find lunch and there's only one problem. Most places are closed until 10.30 and by 10.30 I really need to be back in school. I definitely can't be just getting food at 10.30 and still expect to be back in school at any reasonable time. Um, there are a couple of bagel places that, and I might check them out, but my what I'm first going to try to do is go to Sandwich Express, which is right down there, and see if I can get something there. The only problem is that they don't have any seating, so I'll have to see where I can actually eat the food once I buy it, or if I'm forced to eat standing up. But, nonetheless, this is going to be a little bit of a break. Um, you know, forgetting that I have two midterms in one day, it can actually be quite stressful on you. So, um, I'm just kind of pretending I don't have anything right now, and I'm just kind of walking here by choice, even though that's not true. The algebra 2 midterm um, was from 7.45 to 9.15, and I finished a little bit early. The chem midterm starts at about 11.15, should go until just before 1 o'clock. After that, I'm only going to have one midterm left, although a lot of people are going to have zero. Right now it is currently 45 degrees. That's actually um, quite warm this early in the day in January. Although temperatures are actually going to be going down throughout the day. Nonetheless, this is, you know, unseasonably warm for January. A big reason why we've had no snow this winter is because in December, the moisture did not line up at the correct times. But in January, it's just been too warm almost the entire month to support snow. Central Park's lowest temperature all month 
was 28 degrees. If that holds constant, that's going to be record setting. Um, you know, you know, this could be our warmest January on record. I do want to put that point, you know, out in the air. This could be our warmest January on record. Um, we do have a chance of snow on February 2nd. That would already break the record for the latest first measurable snow. After that, though, we don't know when we're going to be getting snow. We don't know. Um, could New York City and Central Park go totally snowless because Long Island actually got measurable snow on December 12th? It's a possibility. It's unlikely because there's still a lot of winter left to go. But what you have to understand is that we are already over halfway done with meteorological winter and halfway done with astronomical winter coming up soon as well. Really, December is as snowy as March. So, you know, that chance does extend pretty well into March, but, but New York City also has a very real possibility of going totally snowless. And when you look at the snow halo around New York City on, you know, yesterday, that really emphasizes that point that we really are not getting any snow. Because honestly, the way that, that snow bubble looked, hilarious. It was literally just like a halo around New York City. That's, you know, kind of proves the point that this, this kind of dry hole thing. What we really need is for a polar vortex to lock in the Arctic air. That could be coming on February 2nd, but what we also need moisture on top of that. All right, this is gonna be a bit of a dangerous cross. Look both ways and then cross very quickly. Run across the intersection so as to not get hit by cause that sandwich express it does look to be open so that'll be my first bet see you later